Although it's not so easy to get out when the wind makes the Spencer Gulf a bit choppy, diving with the giant Australian cuttlefish at Point Lowly is easy because they live along the rocky shore in shallow water no deeper than 10 metres. And it's that need to breed in this special area that makes the cuttlefish vulnerable. Research suggests that any disturbance of their habitat, such as brine discharge, has the potential to impact their breeding behaviour and therefore the viability of their population. This is a good size one. Yeah, this is one of the bigger ones we've got out there. What are you going to do with him? I'm going to attach an acoustic tag um, and when we re-release it we'll be able to get an understanding of how far the, each animal moves along the reef and how long individuals are staying here for during the season. How many tags have you put in so far? I've attached about 20 so far, um, but I'm almost running out of money so I haven't got too many left. How much are they? Uh, these are about $500 a tag. Wow. So. So this tag actually is an acoustic tag, so it sends out a sound wave every two minutes and it's got a small battery inside which lasts for about 12 months. So we, we can get up to 12 months worth of data from one tag. And once you put it in, can you retrieve it? No, once it's in and it's in the water, that's it. So we've just got to hope that it all works for us. Get it right the first time. That's right. So we just put it on its side here like this and I'm actually going to stick the tag inside the animal's mantle, which is its body cavity. And then I'll push the pin through like that and then I'll crimp the end off and then snip that off and that's done. So it's a bit like putting a stud in your earlobe. <laughs> it's very similar. Hopefully not quite as painful. For you. <laughs> but just as stylish. Just as stylish, that's right. <laughs> well, I think it's really important information for getting an understanding of how this population actually works. Um, and so far we're, we're seeing that a lot of animals are actually um, staying in quite isolated areas over a rather um, long time spans. And that, um, they're staying for shorter periods of time than we first thought.